what's coming up next? Uh, what are we planning with 3.21 and the following uh, versions? So we will focus on, we have already heard, we started with, uh, with our uh, JavaScript uh, manager, uh, providing you the full, the full blown functionality, uh, what NPM and, and, and these millions of, of libraries uh, are offering. Uh, there are still some small functions uh, missing. Uh, this, these will be um, um, delivered uh, with 321. And it will also be our, uh, internally, our uh, first choice of, of, of uh, implementing uh, business logic within the product. A second step, uh, we will also introduce um, uh, an interface to Python, because Python is uh, at the moment the yeah, programming language, which is mainly used for, for artificial intelligence applications. So uh, also here uh, will be an, 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 a possible interface uh, for, for Python uh, in, in this direction. Uh, and as we are using standard programming languages as JavaScript and, 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 and Python, and we are providing also our interfaces uh, into uh, bots, AI bots, uh, you have then also the possibility uh, to get uh, support, uh, as you know, from, from, from uh, uh, the, uh, the AI-enabled uh, stuff in, in, in Visual Studio Code and, and, and these things. Yeah, now from functionality point of view, what will come with uh, or what we are working on for 321? <laughs> uh, one thing is uh, um, we will work on the modern aut authentication. So this means uh, we will, um, yeah, uh, we will use OpenID Connect as the standard authentication for uh, for all WinCCA uh, yeah, managers. Uh, means for the user interfaces, um, for the managers, uh, server side authentication, dashboard, user interface, single sign on, everything this will be uh, covered by, by uh, OpenID Connect, uh, including also uh, we will think about uh, multi-factor authentication and, and multi-domain support. So these are the, the topics on, on, on the authentication side. The next thing is uh, unified namespace. So the OPC Foundation uh, released a relatively new standard regarding uh, their data model. Uh, they call it uh, unified namespace. Uh, WinCCA provides this since, I don't know, five, six, seven versions uh, as uh, the common name. We call it common name service or plant model internally. Uh, and we use now uh, the 3.21 to align the naming uh, and, and to provide so to, to, to change the naming from, from common name service and plant model, as you know it in WinCC uh, uh, currently, into unified namespace and use also this information of the unified namespace for all northbound interfaces so that you can provide this uh, structured information also uh, to the northbound side. Then we are already on the northbound side. Uh, MQTT we have already. We will extend it to uh, MQTT Spark Black B. Uh, we will support OPC UA pubs up uh, and we will hopefully also have a Kafka interface. And uh, yeah, last but not least, uh, we have to deploy also our developments and, 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 and our, our product. Uh, we will have an improved uh, uh, cloud deployment. Uh, this means uh, we will provide uh, Helm charts as, as uh, infrastructure, as code uh, uh, stuff, uh, with all the rules to set up a WinCCA uh, server, uh, with extended uh, documentation uh, and, 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 and examples, uh, and also uh, ready to use Docker images. Yeah? Not just the Docker files itself, but uh, really uh, on a Docker Hub, uh, a WinCCA server uh, for use. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, a big thing, a uh, uh, big uh, development, uh, is uh, everything regarding uh, a user interface in the web. Um, so we will come up uh, already with 320 uh, in a patch uh, with a web component uh, uh, based dashboard. Uh, we will come up also from web UI point of view with the with the whole runtime environment means authentication. Mm -hmm. Uh, the connection handling, uh, the communication, uh, so everything what's the base functionality of a, of a user interface. 
There will be some standard components uh, for, for schematic windows, for navigation, uh, for alarms. And uh, there will also be uh, a, a framework uh, that you can, that you can um, 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 provide your own graphics uh, into, into the uh, web UI. Uh, and uh, some kind of AI-powered code generation um, via Visual Studio Code. So this will uh, come with uh, 321. And if you are interested in, in this stuff, there is also tomorrow um, uh, a detailed um, workshop. Um, yeah, uh, and in the rare case that something is not working very well, uh, we also provide support with the system health dash dashboard so that you get uh, on one place uh, an overview over the uh, status of your system uh, with KPIs, with alarms, uh, with errors, with logs, everything uh, in, in one place uh, in, in the product. Um, NGA uh, is also one topic, uh, next-gen Archive uh, will get also an import possibility for, C for CSV files. So uh, if you have some somewhere third-party information, what you want to get into your uh, uh, history, uh, you can use the CSV importer uh, to import uh, data into your history. Uh, and there will also be um, um, a conversion possibility if you want to migrate from Oracle uh, into in, in the direction of, of uh, uh, Postgres. And uh, yeah, last but not least, uh, we have currently or we have just uh, now started a development with Vivo uh, uh, together to provide uh, a new license portal uh, which supports you into, uh, into the management of your licenses uh, uh, and, and your customers. And uh, yeah, that's the yeah. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> really, really. So we really started. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the uh, look out uh, into, the, into the future, into the next version. And uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Mark.